hello friends you can see that there is a steering wheel and now i am going to show you how to draw this steering wheel in autocad 2d so let's begin just move it in one side okay at first select center radius circle and draw a circle and the radius will be 35 enter repeat the circle command and draw another circle radius will be 40 enter now select line and from the center uh, draw a horizontal line from the midpoint enter now copy the line and select line just click on copy command and copy in upper direction distance will be 10 and in lower direction distance will be 3 enter enter again now delete this one now select and trim okay now again select line and from the midpoint draw a vertical line enter now select this line click on copy and in the right direction uh, copy in five distance will be five and left distance is also distance will be five enter enter again okay now select this one and delete okay now select circle and from the center point of the circle draw another circle and the radius will be just four enter now select this circle and click on move and move it downward distance will be 14 click again move it in the right direction distance will be 14 enter again okay now select circle and select tangent radius circle so select this tangent this tangent and radius will be 5 enter again uh, repeat the command and select this tangent this tangent this is will be 3 enter repeat the command select this tangent this tangent distance will be 5 enter okay so select those delete now select this circle click on mirror enter now repeat this tangent radius circle command and click here and click here radius will be 50 enter now select click on trim trim this part trim this part enter now select this one and delete again uh, repeat the command now select this one and this point uh, here is will be 50 enter select select trim trim this part and this part enter select this one delete and again select click on trim okay enter now select this portions now click on mirror and from the midpoint okay one portion is left okay uh, click on mirror and from the midpoint mirror this one enter okay now again still uh, repeat the tension radius command and click here click here radius will be 100 enter 
okay uh not this one actually again repeat the previous commands select this one and this one radius will be 100 enter okay so select and click on trim to trim okay trim enter now select this one and delete now again select click on trim and select this uh, delete this trim this part enter okay we are almost done uh, select on fillet click on fillet and fillet distance will be 5 enter and click select this one this one also and this one also enter okay now uh, repeat the tangent radius command uh, this tangent this tangent and radius will be 20 enter uh, select click on trim select this one this one okay also this one enter select this one delete now select uh, again repeat the tangent radius command select this tangent this tangent and radius will be 3 enter and select this one click on trim select trim and trim enter select this one click on mirror enter click on trim trim this portion this portion enter okay now let's fill it so click on let's, uh, let's gradient click on gradient and at first i'm selecting this one this one and click here enter again uh, click on gradient now change the color now click here enter now let's apply the dimension so from here class select radius now identify the radius this is 40 enter to repeat the previous command this is 35 enter this is 100 enter this is 5 enter this is 95 enter this is 3 enter this is 20 enter this one is 55 enter this one is 35 okay already have this one so delete repeat the command this one will be 50 enter this one will be 4 enter and this one will be 5 enter this one will be 3 now our drawing is complete hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you are new like the video share with your friends and if you have any question ask in the comment box thank you